All right. Let me go run downstairs and see if I can get this thing going. All right. Let's do this. I'm excited. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Started streaming less than one minute ago. Nine. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go run downstairs and see if I can get this thing going. Oh, I should probably. Right, mute so I don't hear you. <laughs> you probably should. You should probably should. Go. Much better. All right. Let's see. Put the camera. I gotta say that's a very innovative use of the leaf section for a table. You like that? Yeah, I wish I would have thought of that before because that we have one like that. That would have been perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, good morning, everybody. Afternoon, whatever time of day it is. I'm so confused with the uh, the coronavirus here that I don't even know what time it is anymore. <laughs> um, Blend together. Uh, let's see. Uh, today we are going to be testing uh, the bridges that we made earlier this last three weeks. And uh, I have my file folder bridge up here already and uh, ready to go. It's got the basket on it and the basket weighs 130 grams. And so already it's holding 130 grams and it only weighs 17 grams. So it's got a, uh, uh, at least, what, eight times its own weight, which is not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, it's got some problems, though. If I zoom in, dun, 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 zoom in over here, and you can see the back leg is kind of floating off the ground. And then over on this side, it's not quite, eh, it's not too bad on this side. So, so you, uh, it's that gonna, one leg that's lifting off right there, I got to ask, what do you think is going to happen whenever we start adding an additional weight? Do you think it'll end up settling down? I do. I think it'll, uh, I think we'll settle down a little bit. It's not going to be uh, perfect. The back suspense, suspending uh, tension bars there are going to kind of crinkle, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, it'll, it'll bend the whole thing towards me is what I think will happen a little bit. It's going to be weird. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing going. I've got these bags here that I made, and they're full of uh, uh, nuts and bolts. I don't know. Maybe I can put it here. It'll be a little bit easier to see. Uh, this one's got washers and some nails, and it weighs 149 grams. So they've already been labeled out. And then I've got others, like this one is just full of nails, and it weighs... Uh, 153 grams and so each one is about 150 grams when you average it all out and so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put these in there and we'll see how many it holds i'm going to go until it breaks because it'll be broken and it'll be broken so so the first one's going in and ha <laughs> ha there we go one hey look at that one all right number two I'm going to put it in there and try to balance it out a little bit as we put it in. Two. Woohoo. Number three going in. All right. And holy cow. Huh? Wait, 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 what's your prediction? How much do you think we're going to be able to fit in here? Oh, my gosh. Well, it's, our, it's still the one leg is still poking up in the air. I, I'm guessing maybe eight of these bags. I think it's going to hold 200 or 2,000 grams. All right, that's my guess. Okay, 2,000 grams. All right, so... Two kilograms. My prediction is actually that you're going to hit 2,500. Because I get, I get okay. a, you know, 2,500. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I'm i down with that. I'm down with that. So, all right, here, this one is 254 grams. So it's a bigger one. A little bit bigger. So that's 1,000 grams right there. Oh Plus 130, God. so 1,130 grams. Holy cow. Jeez. All right. That's one kilogram for something that only weighs 17 grams. That's not bad. That's really impressive. All right. Here we go. One more. This one is uh, 152 grams or 252 grams. Okay. You know what? That's number five, right? Uh, it might so, be. Oh, wow. 
all right, well, that's, that's the ones with my washers. Now I'm going to put the ones with the nails. Here we go. Oh, this one is 252 grams. Wow, and I don't see any sagging on there at all yet. Barely budged. I, I think we may both be wide out. You might not have enough. <laughs> well, then I'll run out to the garage and go get some more. <laughs> all right, I see Austin's thinking 3,000 grams. Okay, okay. Optimistic. I appreciate that, Austin. Optimistic. Okay. Uh, 253 grams, because gosh, you know, nails can't weigh all the same thing. All right, that's bag number seven now, yeah? Yes. All right. So if that's bag number seven, this one right here is your prediction that it would hold two. This is my prediction. It's going to crash as soon as I put this in there. 252 grams. It's going to crash. Here we go. Wow. Holy cow. That thing is still holding. Okay. Now, just to make sure that I'm getting this straight, you ended up making this out of file folders and glue and glue. Okay. So and you that's it. make this out of plastic or metal. Did you? No, no, it's got enough. I mean, the only metal is what's holding the, uh, the basket in place. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, your prediction so far has proven true. We're already at eight bags. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. So now I'm starting, I had to, I'm running out of stuff, right? So I had to go and get screws. So this okay. one is just a bag full of screws, 250 grams. If it falls now, yeah. I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Man, you made it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 2,000. Here we go. 2,000 grams. No, 2,500 grams. Right now, that's what we've got. Yeah. Holy cow. All right. Wow. Wow, that thing's a lot stronger than I was going to thought it was going to be. Okay, here we go. Oh, this one's nails and screws. So here we go, nails and screws. 249 grams. Nothing. No Bridge movement at all. This nothing. thing is a beast. Oh, my gosh. All right, I have a oh, prediction oh. over here from Cool Puppet Master. He's thinking 3,700. Austin changed okay. to 3,500. I'm going to – I need to bring the camera up here. I want you to see something. I want you to see where the posts – where the metal is going into that middle post there. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is really sinking in there. Point your finger. It to is. We can see exactly what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know that, that might be our weakest link and that's so structurally supported too. It is. You know, we might be able to get even more if instead of using, I guess those are paper clips, right? Yes. Maybe something like rubber bands, some rubber, rubber bands or a wider band. It's got some Eli. something, yeah, something holding a little bit wider would have maybe been a little bit better. Okay, yeah. well, we're just gonna keep on going here. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so Two hundred and fifty grams. Twelve. Number twelve. Oh, oh, oh! I heard a crack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still not going anywhere. Still not going anywhere. All right. Number thirteen. Here we go. This one is nails. It's 253 grams. And right. it's Faith, still holding up. Faith apparently was trying to do her bridge at the same time and hers already fell. <laughs> hey, I really, I appreciate the, uh, did she videotape it? I hope she did. Faith, that would be so cool. I don't know if you taped it because we definitely want to see. All right. Number 14. Right. Here. Let's see what we got. All right, number 14, 252 grams. Oh, my basket's almost not big enough. Holy <laughs> cow. That's what we call a constraint, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, one more, one more. Here we go, here we go. Sure. Last one, number 15. It's the last one I've got. Number 15, 249 grams. And... Oh man, I'm hearing cracks all over the place. It's but great. it's still holding. It looks like it's not even budged. Is that leg still off the ground? No, the leg is all pulled down. And it's, it's down. like it's all look at this. If I bring it over. Oh my gosh. It's pulled down and it's perfectly straight. 
it hasn't bent at all. Oh my gosh. So you know what? I'm out of stuff. So what else can we add here? Um, um, I got glass. Gina would be really mad at me for that one. Um, nails. Mrs. Glass. I don't see the downside. No <laughs> Nothing will happen there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go run out to the garage. Dun, 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 Dark. Let there be light. That's what engineers do. Solve the problem. Look at this beautiful day out here. Goodness gracious. It is beautiful outside. I will. Oh, look, look. It's a lizard. (laughs) Hey, that's good luck. That's a good omen. (laughs) All right. Nails and screws and things. You're currently at, well, let's see if that's 15, 15, 15 or 16. All right, there's two nails, another nails. If it holds this much, I'll be surprised. So we're I don't know if I got room for all that. Fifty. This is this is kind of crazy. Time, time, time. Do, 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 do. Okay, so setting it down here. Do you remember see if how I can get my it takes to make two hundred and fifty grams? No, but that's why I got a scale. Hey, look at that. We'll figure it out here. Okay. Oops, I want that to be in grams. All right, so that's that's a thousand grams right there. One bag, one box, a thousand grams. This one is six hundred and eighty-five grams. There is so no one thousand grams. I forgot the camera. Hey, hey, I only have two hands. Oh, Austin said you forgot the lizard. I forgot the lizard. I did forget the lizard. Okay. Set it back up. You're going to fit a thousand grams on there and it's not just going to crash. Okay. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the thousand grams in there by itself. Mate, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move these bags out of the way first. All right. So I'm taking out 500 grams and I'm putting on a thousand grams. So it's like we put in two more bags. I'll go ahead and mark that. That's it. I heard the creak. (laughs) <laughs> so oh my God, that's what's creaking it is gonna go that's okay it's cool all right here we go another so now that was so we just added two right yep so one more 250 grams i might have to erase and restart this <laughs> Oh! Oh! (laughs) And there it was. There it went. Oh my gosh. Wow. For a good five seconds. So I'd say that that definitely counts. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing out of here now. Wow. I can't believe I had to do that. All right. So just so we can see where it failed. It didn't fail here. Oops. It didn't fail right here. It failed where I glued them together in between on both sides. So the glue wasn't strong enough. The glue wasn't strong enough. The paper was. The paper was holding. Huh. That's actually really cool. Wow. And the, and the, the, these uh, tubes... The tubes, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these tubes. Those tubes held up so good. Oh, maybe a little bit. Look at this one. It's a little bit wrinkled right there. Yeah, but it, it still is showing such a, 
I mean, for 4,630 grams. Holy cow. For something okay. Like 17 grams. <laughs> See, then we can figure out the efficiency. How many times its own weight did it carry? Oh my gosh. Let's see. So that is roughly 272.3 right there, which would make it a 27,200% efficiency. That's crazy. Awesome, but it's crazy. All right. Wow. So now I'm going to try this one, which I made just out of notebook paper. Ooh. So uh, that's probably more along the line of what Faith made was hers, I believe, was out of notebook paper and not file folder paper. Okay. So I'm going to get it attached. Okay. Should be showing you all this on the video. I'm a terrible YouTube star here. All right. I don't think this one is going to hold near as much. But on a positive note, it is completely flat on the table on both Ooh. sides. So you, we're probably going to have to say that this one's got a better, I guess, structural accuracy. I don't even know if that's an official term. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> that was good. The quality of the structure is better, that's for sure. All right. Okay. We already, we already have the 130 grams from the basket. That's correct. 130 grams from the basket. And then, so this one only weighs 10 grams because it's a less material. It's not, so it's about ha almost half the weight of the other one. Okay. So here we go. Testing it out. You got your uh, notes ready to? Uh... Yes, yes, I'm ready. So this is this is bridge number two, and here we go. One, oops, it's moving all over the place. Get back over there. All right, one goes in. One. What's your prediction for this? Oh gosh, it can't be as much as the last one. It can't be. So I mean, I'm going to say. It didn't fail on the last one. It was the glue. Two thousand. Two thousand grams. Okay, I'm going to predict right now that we're going to hit 1,500. I don't know. This is notebook paper. I, I like file folder, I really believed in, but notebook paper, I'm not sure. Guys, in the comments, <laughs> throw out what you think this one's going to reach. What do they say? Anybody? Well, I mean, we got to give them a few seconds here for the stream to go. <laughs> Austin is obsessed with the lizard, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Lizards are a good omen. That's right. Okay. 250 bag number two. Here we go. Bag number two. All right. Bag number two. Oh, I think bag the mark is right now. All right. There we go. All right. 500 grams. Here we go. Bag number three for 7,500 grams. Oh, what happened? How did that? Where did. <laughs> the same blue. Oh, okay. So that it failed. So I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it failed. Failed right here. Right there. Oh my gosh. And that's the same spot as the other one, isn't it? Yeah, the same spot. So we've identified a structural. <laughs> we did. We did. Okay. So that one didn't work quite as well. But that's okay. I mean, we figured out that it wasn't the actual, the material itself. It was our adhesive. So maybe if you were going to remake it, what could you have done different with that? Well, I guarantee you for sure, I would, uh, I'm going to turn this around. Um, I would uh, make sure that my joints were glued together much more solidly, 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 solidly than, uh, than I did. Obviously. So, and I, I'm just going to throw it out there because I've, I've done a few projects where gluing was really important, particularly woodworking. One of the things that you have to do a lot with woodworking 
is you sand it down to get the smoothest surface possible and let the pores and the wood open up to let that glue adhere. With paper like this, using a liquid adhesive, I feel like it almost might be difficult because if you use too much, the paper gets soggy. But if you don't use enough, then we have something like what just happened where that joint kind of pops off. Hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, it doesn't quite work quite as well as it should. But that's kind of, you know, that's what happens when we're in, uh, ooh, I went away. Sorry. Am I back? Not yet. All I see is fuzzy. Come on. Yeah, everything's fuzzy. There we go. Okay. There. Sorry about that. Oops. You know, technical difficulties. No, absolutely. You know, you're also, you know, in the middle of all this uh, quarantine, and uh, not everybody's got the supplies that they need. So you kind of work with what you get. You know, I had a student that uh, reached out to me and said that because they didn't have adhesive like glue, they were going to try and use staples. That might have worked. It, it might have been a little bit difficult to attach the staples, but I, I wonder if using a staple instead in that particular area would have been better, like as if it were a piece of rebar in an actual bridge. Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, but they would also need to make sure that uh, like the concrete would be like the glue that would bind it all together. So you would, Ideally, you would want both. That way you have the, the glue to hold it in the right place and the rebar to back it up for that structural stress. Mm. Hey, projects for next year when we have the, the COVID uh, sequester. Absolutely. You know, and here's another thought. Um, if we were to go through and do this again, I wonder if we could almost separate the class into groups and have one use only tape, one use only glue, one use a combination and really start to see our differences. I, I don't know how many you would have to have to have that uh, a statistical difference to see what would be superior, but. No, that would be awesome. That would be a perfect experiment to see, you know, split it up into different types of materials to see who and what would hold the, uh, the best. Absolutely. That'd be really cool. Well, man, that was, that was fun. Thank you, Mr. K, for building not one, but two bridges. Hey, thanks for helping me keep track of everything, Mr. Utech. I really, really appreciate it. Well, should I say U Technology? It was uh, a lot of hard work doing my very technical, uh, Mr. U Technology. This is high class technology here, clearly. Like, difficult stuff, but it's okay. I got it. I uh, thank you for all of you who tuned in. That was awesome. It was really cool to see a whole lot of people. I mean, I think we had at our peak 12 people watching. That's wow. really hey, for, for my first show, that's not too bad. Yeah. Hey, you know, and if the 12 people end up telling another few people each, like the next time, who knows, maybe we'll end up with a lot more because I'd love to do videos like this again. But if the kids don't want to watch them, they don't show up to the live sessions. I don't know. It's just not as fun. Like Austin over here who has a lot of things to say. <laughs> he, he does in the classroom also. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, guys. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to uh, sign off. And y'all have a great weekend. Have a beautiful day. And what does it you always say? Make good choices. There you go.